So, Em, what was it like growing up in Woodland? <laughs> Other than that. Um, it was a lot of this. <laughs> a lot of dirt piles, a lot of open fields, a lot of tomatoes. Um, That's about it. <laughs> This is Woodlands, the main drag. YOLO County! Gassing up the RV. Nothing like it in the world. These guys wondered if this was going to be a, the spot, but uh, nope. I don't know. I don't think so, right? It's not going to work. These things hold a lot of gas. So that's about half. It's a 55 gallon tank. Emily and I decided that maybe Woodland High School might be a place to launch these guys off. Okay. This is the high school that Emily went to. And we are at a high spot here in this high school. Let's see what the aliens think. Oh, the uh, gargler and gurglor say, uh, no, it is way, way too windy for a launch here. And not really high enough. So, this was a failed attempt at Woodland. Look at these guys writing, working. Mama driving. Driving. Oh, this is working. Really hard. Driving. Strong, working. Tree driving. Lens. If you are living in Northern California or the Northwest, you may have heard of Dutch Bros. Anywhere else, you probably have not. It is awesome. The coffee. Have I have no idea. We might want to park. Right. Coffee is awesome. Almost all small drive through locations. Inside's a little party. And it's just so good. If you see a Dutch Bros, go to it. They're on to us. What's that in the distance? Look at that. We're gonna go there. Nothing like a book pillow, huh? Guys, I think we found a place for the aliens to take off from. Yay. You ready? Where do you think it is? Uh, here? <laughs> <laughs> We're consulting. They don't think it's a rocket ship. I think it's a rocket ship. They don't. Hmm. Only one way to find out. Look, where I come from, that's a spaceship. But apparently, so it is super windy. But again, and this gold. is the end goal. And look, this goes this up the, to the top. Yeah, the sundial bridge. I think a bunch of people were like, what can we do to make Reading awesome? And they were like, make a bridge that looks like a spaceship. That's the way. So, this, is probably hard to this is not going to work for us. But, it's fun to check it out, right, Ethan? Uh-huh. All right, so this might not be their way home, but we all agree that this thing is just super cool. Oh, it goes all the way over there. So, uh, that wasn't a spaceship. I think we've used up California at this point. I think we're heading on to uh, Portland, right, guys? I know. Mm -hmm. So we're just driving. We're driving to Portland. This is the longest leg of this trip. It is about six hours from Reading, which is two hours from Woodland, which is two hours from Mountain View. So this will be about 10 hours to get to uh, Portland. It's almost like Mount Fuji in Japan. Almost. But not really. But it's pretty cool. So at first I was looking at this, and then I saw that. Awesome. We are heading into the mist. Into the cold. The kids are out. It's the sign, but we just entered Oregon. And that is a cool mountain, man. Out of the Hobbit, Arizona. 
big enough to be out of the Hobbit. No dragon in there. So we are at a KOA campground on the outskirts of Portland and the aliens are watching the boys create an awesome puzzle. Super Mario puzzle. And then we have just a bunch of RVs and people relaxing and sleeping too. Probably because they don't have kids. So this KOA isn't the most hot place at the moment. This place is usually a great over the summers. It's not the summer right now, but you know, we'll have a pool. Over here we've got some play sets that you can have. <laughs> a like makeshift miniature golf, which is, which is pretty fun. But, um, you know, they do the trick. They usually have places for tents, RVs, all that stuff. And there's actually tons of them in the United States. Oh, that's a lot of sheep. Is that a llama? Or just some sheep? I can't tell. It's a llama, dude. Or is it just a sheep with a long neck? <laughs> here with a board game duel. Yeah. Hi. We're game duel. Yeah. We've been at the Source Climbing Gym looking for a place for these guys, and it looked pretty promising, but there's a ceiling. And so it's not going to work out. Aliens are checking out the menu. What are you going to have, guys? Don't know. <laughs> All right, we'll figure it out. <laughs> they might choose the sliders. Never know. Never know. Maybe even Evan, say hello, Evan. Hi. This is incredible. This is actually a high school or an elementary school. And what they've done. I mean, it is awesome. So, after a really late night where we couldn't fit into our car park and had to stay in a camping room parking lot, we drove around and we found ourselves at the original pancake house. The original, original. This is like the one. And it is super exciting and super awesome. Look at that bacon. Look at that bacon. And way too much whipped cream for the morning, right Evan? Was it good, Ethan? So we've had a great time in Portland. We went climbing and bouldering. We went to Voodoo Donut, which is awesome. We, we just met, ate it. We just ate it, right? Well, Super actually, tasty. not all the way. Yeah. We met with Mommy James and Tessa. A giant, giant donut. Wait. They didn't even see me eat it. <laughs> it's gone. It's gone, man. It was huge. It was the biggest one they sold. It was like that yeah. big and this one. And now it's in the <laughs> and belly. And now it's right here. I have a little <laughs> donut, baby. <laughs> So anyway, <laughs> do you guys think we should stick around Portland or should we head off to Seattle? Where are we going to save these guys? Uh, which one has the Wapit chip? That's my question. Where where should we go next? I think we'll find what we're looking for in <gasps> Seattle. <laughs> and I know how the Wapit chip. Oh, does that, it? Okay. And I think they might go home and there might be a rainbow at their home because it might be raining. No, so? maybe. Rainbow, huh? All right. And they might even find sprinkle raining. 